Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an exciting one for sure because it's all about what I'm packing to, oh my gosh, I just spaced out. What I'm packing for Disney World, Florida, vacation, all that. So I'm gonna try to speed through this video and not take too long on everything that I've packed. I'm just gonna kind of like, quickly touch on everything that I'm bringing because you know we don't need to hear me go on and on about the fact that I brought shampoo. That's boring. But I did think this video might be kind of fun to watch in case you're curious on what I'm bringing on my trip. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So none of my bags are going to be checked. So I am just bringing a carry-on and I am bringing my personal items. So so carry-ons, the dimensions for carry-ons are not very big because, I mean, they need to be able to, like, put it up in the plane with you. Um, and I am definitely an overpacker, so this was most definitely a challenge for me. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what I, let's see what I got in here. Tassels out of the way. I don't even know what these are. This is a very old suitcase. I don't care. I wasn't about to go buy a new one. First pocket, there's nothing in there. Because most of my stuff is big. Alright. I'm trying to get the best angle possible, but it's kind of hard to like fit me in here with my suitcase. But we're trying. Okay, so this first pocket, we have a brand new loofah that I got from my grandma for Easter, so the timing was just prime on that. I'm packing a brand new razor that I got from Easter from my parents, so that's good timing too. And the last big thing in this pocket is a bag of miscellaneous items. This is all like bathroom getting ready kind of stuff. So we have travel toothpaste, mouthwash, and a little baby toothbrush that's so cute from Rite Aid. Again, thank you Easter Bunny. It's just working out really well. I'm packing my kind of disgusting, very old but well-loved wet hairbrush. I wanted the full-size one because I just, I want to have this. And I have a couple hair bands on it and yep. <laughs> I have little travel size shampoos. These are the OGX Argon Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. I'm bringing along one of my old deodorants. It's actually Men's Old Spice because I'm running out of the Schmitz deodorant that I just bought. So back to the, the Men's Old Spice it is. This is Fiji and it smells good. It doesn't smell too much like a man, I have to say. This Fiji scent is a little more just unisex, I guess. Like, it doesn't smell like a man or a woman. It just smells good. Next up, I have St. Ives Nourish and Soothe Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash. And then I also am bringing the Suave Soothing Cocoa Butter and Shea. And this still falls under travel size because it's only three ounces, and I think the max is like 3.4. And this is for, you know, I'm gonna be shaving my legs, and so I want something to moisturize. Next, in this clear little container, I just put in some of my CeraVe face wash because it's not travel size. That thing is like 12 ounces or something. And I know for sure this little container is an ounce. My mom is letting me use this. Thank you, mom. You the best, homie. And it's just a cute little pumper thing. So yeah, that works out really conveniently. And the last thing in this bag, box, I was gonna say box and bag. The last thing in this bag of shower bathroom essentials is this drop dead gorgeous dry shampoo, actual powder stuff. And I talked about this in my naturals video and I love it and it's great. And we're gonna be in Florida and it's gonna be humid and it's gonna be hot and I'm gonna be sweating and I'm gonna wish I had me a bottle of this. Now it is time to go into the main compartment. Uh, it's so full guys. Voila, okay. There's definitely a lot going on. So let's just go through this real quick. Okay, I'm scooting back up to you guys because that camera angle was just weird and as you can see, I'm like working out of it, yeah. <laughs> so, I got this little travel pillow from Forever 21 um, a couple days ago and you know, pretty self-explanatory. This is for when I'm in the airplane and I wanna be comfy. How cute is this? This is so cute and it's so soft. You can't feel it, but I can and it's soft. Up next we have my makeup bag. So this cute melon print organizer makeup bag thing snaps, so that's cool, barely, barely snaps. And you can hang it on something 
if you want to and if it doesn't break the nail in the wall um, while you're getting ready. So in here we have all my makeup, makeup brushes, couple lip items, back behind we have like foundation and powder and bronzer and blush. We have waterproof mascara because of, you know, swimming and Splash Mountain and all those kinds of rides. And regular mascara, so eyeliner. I don't even know if I'm going to use all of this, but you know, who knows? You never know. You can never pack too much. Actually, I'm beginning to think that that's a lie. <laughs> I have the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette because I use the highlighter there. And then the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 palettes. And yeah, that's what I'm bringing for makeup. I'm really trying here. Ah, oh, so, I'm so glad that I'm actually able to snap that. I'm also bringing my curling wand. And I think this is an inch and a half barrel size. And my sister Natalie actually asked me to bring this along for herself to use as well, which obviously that's totally fine. I'll share this with her. She's packing for her husband and her and the twins. And I don't think she'll have that much space for a curling wand. So that's why we are sharing this. And this heats up in like 30 seconds. So that's great. And also in case you're wondering um, why I look like such a slob. Actually, I look like a slob like I've looked like a slob in some of my other videos too, I feel like. My hair is like so not done right now. It has like three inches of dry shampoo built up in here. This is called the I just got home from work hair look. And I can't style it for my YouTube video because I packed my curling wand. And my curling wand is a part of my video because it's all about what I packed. Look. And with that I have my little glove because I like using this glove. And I just... Put the glove on, like that. Next up we have good old underwear, woohoo, joy to the world, and socks. I'm also bringing a bralette because I have a couple tank tops and bralettes look prettier under tank tops than bras, like just regular bras. So I got this one from Victoria's Secret. Um, and then I'm bringing, this one's also from Victoria's Secret. This is just a sports bra, um, cause I have more like athletic tank top as well. You'll see, you'll see. Um, and this is like more full coverage and just like really keeps you, keeps you in there. So just depending on what I'm feeling like, I have both kinds of those bras. And then I'm gonna be wearing just like a regular t-shirt bra there. In case any of you were wondering, I don't know. <laughs> And then heading into clothes, I am bringing this cute lightweight navy blue dress with buttons in the front. And this is just going to be my dress for going out to dinner if we want to be a little more fancy dancy. Who knows? I'm gonna bring this dress. And then I also have this kind of jersey dress thing which is like super baggy and flowy but comfy and I'm gonna probably use this just as a bathing suit cover-up because I don't actually have like a legit bathing suit cover-up but like who cares I might just wear this around the hotel too just because I might even wear it as like a night nighty speaking of nighty I'm bringing my pajama pants I got these from Target I believe I'm bringing these brand spanking new forever 21 shorts that I think are so cute. I might wear these to the park depending on if they go with any of my shirts. I don't think it will, but I know I'll wear this like for the hotel too and for sleeping or whatever. So yeah, these are so cute. Forever 21 has really cute athletic wear. Another pair of athletic shorts. Might wear them in the park, might just wear them around. I just, I feel like I can't pack too many things. Maybe I won't be feeling pink, maybe I'll be feeling black, who knows. And then legit shorts. I have these green shorts that I think are super cute and these are from High Sierra. But they look like they're like, they look like they're like American Eagle, but I guess they're not, they're High Sierra, so. And then these black shorts from Target. These are the universal thread line that they carry and this is high-waisted which I'm so excited about because now I can finally wear like a cropped top without it being like woo there's like your entire stomach. These are high-rise midi which means they're not like the shorties which means it's more than like you know two inches to cover your leg which is great. So the next thing I got in here is a rain jacket actually 
from Forever 21. I don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, you probably can with my studio light, but it's coated. So Florida, apparently it rains like every day, even if it's just for like 20 minutes. It might just be like a flash rain shower kind of thing. Not that I'm not used to rain. I live in Washington, but you know, could also be like a windbreaker too. So yeah, I thought this was actually pretty cute. It's got like the little meshy on the inside and I don't know. I like it. I may never end up wearing it because Nally's also bringing little disposable ponchos. So who knows if I wear that, but I would, you know, I'd wear that here sometimes too. Basically, I'm trying to say I didn't waste my money. Okay, so going into the shirts, I'm bringing this adorable little like peplum. Is that what you call it? Peplum? Like flared at the waist crop top. I think this is really cute and Disney-esque. And I'm gonna wear this with my black shorts and I'm so excited to wear this. From Forever 21. Another shirt I'm bringing is this really flowy, hopefully I'm not too hot in it, cold shoulder shirt from Target. I'm bringing one athletic top. It's really bright. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it. I just, I'm just bringing it just cause, I don't know. I'm just bringing it. <laughs> and that's from Dance Skin. And then, I got this at Forever 21 too. Another cute crop top, look at this. He's waving and then in the back, <laughs> it's so cute. Donald Duck is like my favorite character. I used to watch, did any of you guys used to watch the Ink and Paint Club where you'd see the old like 40s Walt Disney cartoons, so cute. And then last for the tops, we have this really cute Old Navy top and Actually, my nephew Judah helped me pick this out. It was so cute. My little three-year-old nephew, he was just sitting in the car. I was pushing him around and he was like, this, this, this. I mean, he said that to like pretty much everything. And it was funny because things I'd pick out, he'd be like, no. <laughs> but we agreed on this one and I was like, yeah, this is actually really cute. I'm gonna get this, so thanks Judah. <laughs> I love, I don't know if it, the camera's gonna pick up on this, but it's got like this little V at the front and then these little ties. I'm just, I'm excited to wear this. I might wear this with like the green bottoms. Okay, almost done with the suitcase. We have these little spandexy athletic shorts I got from Forever 21. Natalie actually got the same kind of shorts and we're gonna use these as swim bottoms. And for my swimsuit, I got this last year at Target, I believe. Yep, it's Morona. This cute one piece that I'll wear those bottoms with. Look how cute this is. It's like a little halter swimsuit and I love the tropical pattern and it's kind of almost comfy to wear. I don't know how to describe it. I, I love swimsuit material, so, and it wraps in the front. So cute. Oh, and I guess like two more pajama shirts I'm bringing. This is the Olin Rogers It's a Monday. It's a Monday shirt. Do any of you know that reference? If you do, we can be friends. <laughs> and I might wear this as a pajama shirt or in the park. Probably I might wear it in the park. I don't know. This is the Winnie the Pooh shirt I got at the Disney store. Oh, it's so cute. I also did, I don't have packed what I'm wearing to the airport, but I'm wearing a red long sleeve shirt that says mini on the back. Um, so I'm gonna be in my vlogs. I think I'm gonna do an outfit of the day for every day, so. You'll get to see that too. But look how cute. And then for another pair of shoes, I'm bringing these flip flops, well loved, from The Gap. Because I feel like with the pool at the hotel, I'm gonna need these. I plan on wearing my little Adidas tennis shoes around the park, but I'm bringing these for, you know, the moments where it's not like I'm walking forever and ever, because I really do want to spare my feet. Okay, and real quick, we have the personal item, which, thank heavens, we can bring a backpack as a personal item. You can bring a purse, you can bring a backpack, you can, I don't even know, but yay, yay to that. And I just decided right off the bat that I'm not going to be bringing a purse to Disney World. I'm for sure bringing a backpack. And I kind of want to transition into bringing backpacks like this instead of purses everywhere anyway. I really like the look of a cute little backpack. Isn't this cute? I got this off of Amazon and let me show you what's inside. So in this first pocket, we have what I actually carry in my purse. 
um, all the time. This is my little like emergency beauty bag. I don't even know if that's what you want to call it. It's just my little like on the go beauty bag there. That's, that's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so I have like an old mascara, a kind of mediocre concealer, some oil blotting paper, my EOS, a couple sample perfumes, a little baby hairbrush, a little flosser, a little body spray, some tinted lip balm. Yeah. And in the big pocket we have more stuff. What do you know? I'm gonna pull the first thing out because this is so cute. Minnie Mouse ears. I got this off Amazon because I didn't know how much Disney World would charge for them. So yeah, there's that. My little Minnie Mouse ears. Aren't they cute? I feel like I look really... I feel like I look so weird in these, but anyway. Next item in here is my Monsters University cap, which I showed you guys in my March favorites video, I believe. And look, just ah, ah. look at how cute this is. This is so cute. I love this so much. Obviously, actually, maybe this isn't obvious, but I'm not bringing these hats with me in my little backpack around the park. This is just literally, I'm putting extra stuff in here that. Um, I couldn't fit in my suitcase. So then we have the beloved camera case, the essential camera case. I've had nightmares about forgetting this. That would just be terrible. I have a backup battery. I have my charger. I have like three SD cards. Hopefully that's enough because I'm not bringing anything to transfer the files onto. I just kind of realized that today. I'm like, well, hopefully that's enough. <laughs> and then I have my my baby, my Canon G7X, and this is so great for vlogging. If you guys are looking for a good camera to start out, like if you're starting out with a channel or you just want to start vlogging, I would recommend this. I'm using my Canon EOS 80D DSLR blah, 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 to um, film this, but I mean, this camera does a really good job too. This is, this is a beaut, so I get to vlog with this in Disneyland. Disney World. Next in here we have my standard wallet and I'm not even gonna like take you guys through my wallet because that's boring and I went through this exact same wallet and not much has changed in my what's in my purse video so so there's that. I have my sunglasses case inside are sunglasses because of the sun and then we go into the secret little pockets okay so there's a little pocket in here and inside I have be prepared to be amazed. Eye drops because my eyes get really dry. <laughs> my sister Nally is bringing like ibuprofen and Tylenol and I also know that they have like little like first aid stands in Disney World that they'll hand those out too so I'm not bringing that. And then in these two pockets, much like my purse which is awesome, there's a little pocket for my hand sanitizer I'm bringing because I will be hand sanitizing sanitizing my hands all the time and then gum because I'm addicted and I need my breath to smell good. Alright you guys so that is it for the video for all that I'm packing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did give it a thumbs up. I I'm just, I mean, it's still sinking in that I'm going to Disney World tomorrow, um, but it's its starting to get really real. I just don't know if I can prepare myself for the amount of happiness <laughs> that I will be experiencing. I'm just so stoked and I'm feeling really blessed to be able to go on this trip and that Nellie and Weston are taking me along and Disney's hosting us and it's just, it's so exciting. So before this video comes to an end, why don't you comment below something that you always forget to pack and we can all like remind each other in the comments, even though I'll be in Disney World when this video comes out, so hopefully I didn't forget anything too important. But just comment below something that you really like often forget and you don't want to forget and we can all help each other out in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, keep smiling and have a wonderful day! I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, t oh, it is so echoey right now. Ow. Oh gosh, there's a peg on the bottom of that. Dear Lord Jesus, please don't let this become a bruise. Please, please. Did I fit this in here? Oh no. Oh. The next thing we have in 
And then last for the tops, we have this really cute oh, <clears throat> Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorites. Uh, I can barely fit this in here. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. This is just so cute. I love this hat so much. I'm so excited. I'm going to Disney World. Bye.